Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever in the world you are. Welcome, welcome. So, I uh, got another great day today, and uh, I got my uh, Republican Fleet Fire Tail here, which uh, I'm going to take out for just a little bit here. Uh, this this character still needs some work. Uh, he is um, he's he's a great bomber, and uh, has uh, has all the skills needed for uh, torpedoes and for uh, uh, bombing and uh, but you know uh, for faction warfare I don't know how effective that is I do know that you know I can take out the torpedo stuff on um, you know on the larges but I I don't know if I can quite do it myself uh, been been kind of looking at that uh, it's possible it's possible but the the risk is big and uh, so uh, and when I lose one of those ships, they're, they're, you know, over 50 million each. And, uh, so I just need to play with him some more, not being stream sniped, um, to try that stuff out. But when I have that working, I'm definitely going to share it with all of you. Uh, and <clears throat> so, but he's very, very quick, very quick, very, very quick. Um, so this is, uh, this is a, a very quick fit and, uh, 4,300, um, uh, meters per second and um, a lot of fun to fly uh, but is uh, very fragile so he can't get hit <laughs> um, the uh, we got a couple uh, we got several things going on today actually uh, a lot of stuff so we are um, uh, we got a lot of stuff to give away today and uh, the show's not really about giveaways but um, Huh, you're going to print a Strat uh, Stratios in 3D. Wow. I'd love to see that when you got that done, Shogun. Um, <clears throat> the, uh, so the show's not really about giveaways, but uh, today we happen to have a lot of stuff to give away. When we uh, hit 100 viewers, uh, I'll do a raffle for a new account, uh, which basically will last for an hour. It'll cost you 10 scales to get in. Uh, you get 20 scales per hour. Uh, by the way, just by being here, oops, not scales, gold. And uh, then we have uh, we have an auction for a Plex today. And so uh, I'm going to go ahead and start that right now. And uh, so I looked and Plex is currently going for like 787 million. Um, it's uh, it's come down quite a bit in price. Kind of interesting uh, how far it's come down. Uh, actually, it's come down quite a bit. So uh, anyway, that auction is uh, open. It's open to uh, to getting the uh, somebody getting the first bid in. Uh, Welcome to the dragons. I expect that that one will go for quite a few gold. So um, and then we have. Uh, the the really good thing we have the uh, keyword raffle today which is, uh, is um, for an EVE Online second decade edition and um, it uh, everybody can get in exclamation point raffle and then whenever you do uh, exclamation point gold if there's a K that appears at the end of the line it means that you have entered into the raffle successfully so that one that one is across the board the only thing you need to do is be a follower and we're choosing that at the end of the show and you don't need to be present to win so if you're if you're not uh, if you're not gonna be here at the end of the show no problem uh, you just need to be a follower and uh, so scales are not returning they've been replaced by gold and uh bank heists are not returning they've been replaced by dungeons mm -hmm. so um anyway uh god a lot of stuff given away today uh that that second decade edition is the shipped edition it is the one that um that i've got behind me here and uh shipped to you in the united states or in uh uh, the European Union uh, member countries for free. Uh, if you are outside of that area, uh, you may want to take the optional uh, premium pack instead. 
uh, because customs charges and stuff is going to be somewhere between fifty and one hundred and fifty dollars for you. Uh, so you may not want to to do that, and that's because your country was going to charge you uh, for us importing it to you. Um, <clears throat> Okay, so Shogun is, um, Shogun, really? Did you do a bid already of, no, you don't have 3,000, do you? I don't know. Um, yeah, Shogun, you're in the lead. I don't know what the lead bid is, but uh, Shogun is in the lead. So, um, <clears throat> okay. Well, I'm going to take this guy out, see if I can have just a little bit of success, uh, get a little bit of LP before starting uh, with any fleets or anything. Um, this guy, he made 814,000 uh, LP without dying in his last run. That's a lot. It's about 1.6 billion. So. Okay, so it appears I have a little bit of lag going on here. Okay, there we go. I'm heading out. Warp drive active. See what kind of trouble I can get into. This character has been very profitable. Um, he uh, is at uh, 13 million skill points. Bottom one, he's about 12 million. And um, got him for 6 billion. He paid a little bit of a premium, but. Uh, part of that was because of his standings uh, in uh, the 24th Imperial Crusade. Uh, very, very high. So. Warp drive active. Yeah, one thing with this guy is uh, if I get a turd teammate um, <clears throat> if I get a third teammate then or I mean if I get a turd teammate like you know somebody who's an asshole that's on the same uh, militia or whatnot with this character I cannot attack him uh, my standings will take a severe hit and um, uh, I'm, my standings are about seven right now I want to get up to eight so he can just do his jump clone with uh, Imperial Crusade. So that's kind of my um, my thoughts on that. Let's see here. The system actually doesn't, well, the system is really highly contested. I'll continue on. It actually doesn't look too bad, but its contest is really high. Yeah, those of you on TeamSpeak, I, I currently am muted on there for the moment. I do still have the largest bounty. Yes. Warp drive active. I'm not sure that that'll ever go away. Maybe they'll change the bounty system at some point. The I will say though that one of my characters had over a billion bounty, and um, and that that bounty was completely cleared through normal deaths in faction warfare. And so, you know, that's that was good um, to get that removed. Um, on my Marky Dragon character, I actually don't die often enough. For something like that to happen in faction warfare you know i die i don't know probably an average about three times a day um a bit more while i'm streaming and 
So, it uh, is, um, you know, because you only get, uh, what is it, about 20% of the ship's worth or whatnot in payout. And since my bounty is so freaking big, I don't know that it's ever, uh, ever, that I'll ever be able to fly anything big enough uh, that I'll ever be that rich that I can, like, lose that many ships. Because just think about it. Let's say it pays out 20%. Just to make the math real easy, let's say my bounty was 100 billion, 20%, so um, I'd have to lose 500 billion worth of ships to pay off a 100 billion bounty. Kind of insane, huh? Warp drive I think so. Active. Yeah, so it's not the, f and it's not even the full amount, so. Welcome to the Dragons. You get part of it, but it's not even the full amount. American Torn and uh, Fox... Fox Yakubi. Thank you for following. Welcome. Warp drive active. So we learned a little bit about uh, iHub bashing and stuff yesterday. Ooh, this, uh, yeah, this looks really nice. I'm going in here. Warp drive active. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I, uh, so yesterday we learned a little bit about uh, iHub bashing and about pumping of the systems stats, uh, the infrastructure, um, the uh, infrastructure stuff and everything. Oh, and I got to set up my uh, overview. That's right. Because Warp drive active. Um, there is a change that happened that tactical destroyers were not checked. I gotta do that for each one of the, oh goodness, there's two rats in here. Okay, let's go and get them. on my scanners here while I fix my overview settings here. Found out yesterday that new tactical destroyers were not included in the uh, updates for things. And so, if you have custom stuff set up for your overview, it's not in there. And you have to edit each tab. So. Okay. Guy done. So I've got, uh, I got rail guns on this and missiles at the same time, so I have this one fit up.
Has the demise of Mimitar in, in a few weeks ago made any difference in faction warfare experience? No, but we've discussed that at length because because there are issues about it. There are things that it that it's caused to happen, and so you know the Amar is crushed crushed uh, the uh, Minmatar, and because because of that, um, the uh, there's there's no place to really offensive plex for Amar in the Amar Minmatar portion, and uh, so have to um, so we're fighting up in Galante space, which may just make it so that Galante uh, loses the same way as Minmatar. It'd be kind of hard to believe, but um, it is uh, it is possible. So, yeah, this is a this is a character that that I don't take out very often. Uh, is in faction warfare, and you know is. Uh, um, it is a pretty good character. Um, oh, okay, I got Tristan coming in. Let's see. It's either a pirate or opposing faction. I'm going to get some uh, distance here. He'll never catch me. So, I can see that I haven't made any safes in this system. So, um, I think that I'll go ahead and do that. Um, so, this guy is opposing faction. He's got the timer counting, uh, you know, down. I'll, I'll go ahead and make a couple of, uh, Warp drive active. of safe spots. And, uh, Get those made and then pop back in there and see what's what. The would a Galante defeat spell the end of faction warfare? I don't think so. Um, dude, this guy just popped in right next to me. Woohoo! Yeah, he's following me. Yeah, because I welcome to, to the uh, dragons to a planet, and he decided to follow me. And we're back to a safe. Because I think this guy. Yep. See, he just dropped in right next to me again. He's chasing me. He wants me. Wee! It's really nice to be wanted. <laughs> hey, now I think I am nowhere that he can uh, get to me. So let him bounce around for a minute. So this uh, this this tune here is uh, one that is just about ready to start uh, fighting out here pretty hardcore. Um, finishes rockets five in another hour and a half, and then I'll be able to get into the advanced rocket stuff. And the um, um, then I'll be pretty well put together. Um, I'm I'm. Working on a couple of things with him, you know, just trying to, to make him really good at, um, at one thing. Um, you know, uh, so far with, with um, offensive plexing with this uh, ship right here, the Firetail, I have uh, um, had a pretty good track record. When I'm streaming, I die a lot more. But when I'm not streaming, um, I can get... 
I'm estimating I can get probably about 300,000 to 400,000 LP pretty regularly without dying. And, and I can do that in a day. Uh, so uh, with, uh, with attempts not streaming, he's made about 800,000 LP without, without being on stream. Uh, it's considerably less when I'm streaming. Um, as far as how much LP do I have, um, I have around six, no, I don't know. Uh, it's uh, five point something million, so. Okay. Going to go in and peek. Warp drive active. Oh, the guy's gone. Okay, so he just left. I knew he'd get tired of me. Space Maniac, thank you for following. Welcome. So what I want to do is just uh, collect a little bit of LP, kind of pay for any losses I'll have today. Um, just kind of my normal MO, I guess. Hmm. Thrasher over here. And of course he's coming toward me. He wants me. Well, he's not going to get me. Ah, another one flew in right after him, those pirates. So I don't quite have enough DPS to do mediums on my own. Um, need about 150 to to start uh, doing that. And this guy, the way he's set up, he's set up really for speed. Um, so and he's at 137 DPS. His primary thing is speed, speed, speed. Welcome to the Dragons. Uh, 40 cash, so the second decade giveaway. Uh, it, uh, it's exclamation point raffle. Um, and I think it is. Is it? Shit, I don't remember. Welcome to the Dragons. Yeah, exclamation point raffle. Uh, and uh, I just got to be a follower. To win, the um, it is a uh, shipped edition, and so being that it's shipped, it's free shipping. So if you live in the United States or a European Union member country, you can get free shipping, and um, so it's free, free, shipped to you. The um, it's uh, it is the full box edition that was selling for 150 bucks, and uh, so we have a few of them to give away. And uh, oh god, this Thrasher guy is coming in on me again. And he's never gonna welcome catch me, to the dragons. I don't know what he's thinking. Come on, start moving. Start moving. Welcome to the dragons. So uh, anyway, he uh, or the it's a boxed edition. It comes with all kinds of stuff in it. When we um, first evaluated it, it was over four billion worth of stuff in it uh, if you sold it all. And so, oh, that Thrasher can't get in here, can he? Oh, too bad for him. Yeah, okay. Well, let's go take care of of uh, this frigate here. Um, let's see if I get him webbed. Yeah, there we go. So, uh, 
anyway, it comes with the golden pod. Uh, it comes with uh, battleship skins. It comes with um, whole, just a whole bunch of stuff. It comes with um, the mystery code, which gives you a plex. It also... Um, okay, this guy's coming in now. Let's see, how far away am I? Far enough away. They had a Tristan inbound. The Tristan can get in here. Not so sure that, uh, oh, we got, we got a lot of people coming inbound here. Okay, well. Burn away. There are other, uh, welcome I can't to the take dragon. On Let's see here. We got a Breacher and a Tristan. Welcome to the Dragons. So I'm like 250 away from these guys. Welcome to the Dragons. I'll continue to work on this rat out here. Welcome to the Dragons. Welcome to the Dragons. Just keeping a close eye on these guys to make sure they don't get too close to me while I uh, take care of this rat. They're just sitting in the cap down there. A considerable distance away. I don't think they're burning toward me. Mm. Yeah, maybe they are. Just a little bit. The closest one's 190 away. Okay. I'll, uh... I'll start uh, the Minotaur Welcome Bounty Hunter starter pack raffle here in just a minute. Let me uh, focus on just killing this rat and then and uh, keeping away from these other guys. It's 150 from me now. If they think they're going to catch me at all, they are most likely incorrect. I'm just very fast. That's one of the neat things about this. Now they're running that timer. See, they're uh, they're they're doing a defensive plex by sitting down in there. Um, I'm probably not strong enough to take on either one of these, actually. So, okay, so we got 113 people in chat. Uh, so we're going to start a, a, a ticket raffle for a Minmatar Bounty Hunter starter pack. And uh, just because it has the name Minmatar in it doesn't mean that you have to play Minmatar. It is a brand new account. comes with 30 days uh, prepaid on it. It has a Cerebral Accelerator in it. And that Cerebral Accelerator is um, um, it'll give you about a 35, 30, 35% boost in skill gain for the first 14 days of the character's life. But uh, if uh, you don't want to use it for that, you can sell it. Um, I understand they're going for somewhere between 300 and 400 million on the market. 
and uh, so you um, you can just uh, sell it if you'd rather have the uh, ISK. And so let's see here. I'm just looking at these guys here. Um, Welcome to the dragons. Hey, we'll go ahead and start that. Uh, this is this. It takes ten gold to make one ticket. So if you do exclamation point ticket space uh, one, it will spend ten gold. Everybody gets twenty gold an hour, and uh, so uh, subs get more. And subs also get a bonus when you sub for the first time. You um, you get uh, oh that's I'm like who's locking on to me, and it's the Federation rat from Holy Cow, um, 300 out. Okay, so close ticket raffle in one hour. You don't have to be here to get in. You can do up to 100 tickets, although that's a thousand gold, which Holy Cow, you're a big spender if you do that. Uh, and uh, the K's that you see behind people's names means that you've entered into the raffle for the second decade edition. Okay, so they're just sitting there. I'm gonna warp out to a safe. Warp drive active. One thing about um, this character is so fast that I can just bounce, bounce, bounce around. So uh, you guys are on TeamSpeak. I'll, I'll turn on TeamSpeak in a little bit. Um, I want to, uh, I really want to just get some LP before I uh, start fleeting up and everything, so. I don't have my scout out here. Probably should. Well, if they keep bothering me, I'll, I'll bring my scout over here. Nobody here but the rats. I just love how fast this guy is. Looks like there's a drone sitting out in space out here. Oh, and here comes the Thrasher. Landing in here. Mm -hmm. Hopefully he's not getting me. Oh, fuck, did he get me? Fuck, he did. Fucking got me. God damn it. the most vulnerable spot. It's right there on the gate. Somebody laying it right on top of you. Hey, well, so much for that. Ah. Hey, we'll go to less expensive ships. Uh, those are kind of expensive. In fact, I'll see how much it is. How much I lost there. Um, 22 and a half million. Not too bad, I guess. Hey. Hello, guys. Good morning. Hi, Marky. How you doing? Good. Good morning. I guess I'm going to switch out characters now that I died. Ouch! <laughs> yep. Darn. What ship did you lose? Uh, that was a 
um, Firetail. Ouch, they are good. Yeah, so. That's okay. I, uh, I knew that I could, um, that I could lose, um, lose some stuff. Oh, why didn't I warp my pod out? Uh, I didn't warp it out because I was just taking the quick trip home. Uh, he has no implants or anything. If he had implants, it'd be a different story, but he doesn't. So, uh, and there's no, there's no penalty. It's just a little bit of pride and, you know, whatever. I don't care. <laughs> Not on that. You so. can include prejudice on that too. So. Welcome, Elder Dragon. Ooh, sup? So, you think you're worthy of being a Marquee Dragon subscriber? Duke isn't so sure of that. Get in line with the other dragons and show me what you're made of. What are you waiting for? Get over there before I open a can of whoop ass. Hey, uh, Goldie Fox, thanks for the resub. Woohoo. Um. Okay. Well, let's see here. So, um, are any of you interested in fleeting up? Yeah, definitely. Goldie Fox, a.k.a. Conan O'Brien. <laughs> Yeah. Sure, I, I wouldn't mind trying a fleet. I got a catalyst here pretty well. Okay. Um, is everybody either neutral or in uh, Kaldari, Amar, Faction Warfare? No I one's mean, in the you're... opposing faction? Well, I mean, your uh, uh, invite yesterday for the, the corpse, so yeah. I'm in Kardari, and I have my own corp made through HC. Okay. Okay. Okay, so, um, I guess in the Marky Dragon channel, you can X up. It's Marky Dragon, all one word. And, uh, then if anybody else that's watching wants to join us, uh, you gotta be in, uh, you gotta be on TeamSpeak. And, uh, so, let's see here. Connecting. Getting my scout up and running here. Warp drive active. Okay, scout is up. I went ahead and spent the time to uh, uh, prep three ships, so if I go cool. down, I'll have two to repair. Excellent. Excellent. So, uh, Torn Brad, you too, buddy. Okay, let's see, we got our first guy in fleet. Let me uh, invite another one in here. Um, I made a slight mis uh, miscalculation yesterday. Uh, I told you it was thermal Connecticut. In fact, it's thermal explosive whenever you're going up against Galente rats to be most effective. Oh. Hey. It's t the ratio is two thermal to one explosive. Explosive, huh? Let's see, thermal and explosive is what you say? Yeah, yeah, it's two thermals to one explosive as the ratio. Really? So that's what we should be flying against the rats? Yep, against the Galente rats, yes. Okay. Well, mine is exactly wrong for that. That's what I've got loaded. Oops. 
That's okay. My bullets would fuck against them because they do three damage types. Okay, yeah, uh, we got. We got to find a uh, good-looking system here. Not sure yet where we're gonna go. The system that I'm in is where we left off yesterday, but. Uh, um, it's got, it's got, it's got plenty of hostels in here. Wow, I'm all the way down here. Just hate being so far away from home base. Is, uh, when you die, of course, it takes you a long time to uh, get back. Hey, uh, Pete, are you wanting in the fleet? Uh, he's just talking in there. Okay. Oh, shit. Really? Oh, fuck. They scanned me down and got me. God damn it. Come on, get the fuck out of here. Can I warp? Yep, they've only got me webbed. Hmm, two ships on me, webbing me. They didn't, uh, they didn't stop me from warping. Interesting. What are they? Um, like, what kind of ships were they? Yeah, I don't, I don't recall. Warp drive active. Maybe one was a Falcon. Yeah, they both uh, were pretty close, so. Uh, Goldie Fox, resubs do not get gold. Subscribers get gold once a month. Bonus beginning of the month. Resubs don't get anything. It's only the first time you sub and then the monthly. It's the same amount. It works out to be the same amount. Um, it works out to be the same amount. It's just uh, I'm doing a little bit different so that it's equal for everybody, because the bot, um, the the bot didn't distinguish between a resub and the uh, and a and a new sub, and was just giving a thousand each time, and um, and it was intended originally to only be for the first time. So, anyway, just know that it's all fair. It's all equal now. So I'm uh, I'm headed to an area in the middle of the the battlefield area. So um, gonna check it out. It seems like Faction Warfare is pretty busy already this morning. Maybe it's because everybody is off school and work Maybe. and stuff. Yeah. 
I do make more LP when school is in session. Okay, yeah, because less pliers. <laughs> mm -hmm. Also, less chance of you getting blown up as well. <laughs> well, they're both related. Hey, I have a uh, system here for you guys. Walk, drive, Let's see here. Do. Posted in fleet. Yippee ki yay, motherfucker. You, sir, raw. Whoa. Long ways from where we were yesterday. Uh, five jumps? I mean, well, it depends on what time you left. We're all over the place in here. So, uh, Leroy the Squirrel, he's looking for some goodbye horses. <laughs> Sorry, I do not have goodbye horses set up. Uh, thanks for the thought, though. So you just get a yippee ki -yay. Um, I, um, let's see, that was Sir Squigglies that I uh, was watching yesterday that I sent him a donation. And uh, it was kind of funny because they just, was operating a fleet, and they just encountered uh, another fleet, and were just engaging in battle right when I made the donation. I did not know what was going to happen, but what happened was it played this song called Goodbye Horses that lasted for like three and a half minutes and he couldn't hear anybody in his fleet for the entire time. So, it's kind of funny. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. So, I, uh, I don't quite uh, follow the same philosophy of not being able to hear when somebody makes a donation. <laughs> Low Maverick. Hey. Did you added to the fleet here. There's the system currently in. So basically, we can be pretty much any place within the you know Galante owned space, faction warfare space. And um, you know, it just all depends. The Some of the stuff that's on the outer fringes is better for, um, uh, it, it's better for running into less traffic, especially when you're closer to uh, Galante proper space. And uh, because there's less people that are willing to fly that far to get that deep into their space to go offensive plexing. And the, um, so the, the, uh, um, you know, it just works out a little bit better down there sometimes. And, uh, but you have to travel farther. So. So I'm starting in on a medium here, because I can do that on my own. Welcome to the dragons. Uh, Torfax, uh, Millennia, Xjax, Drexy, Tony, Dracoplasm, Skunk, Jadra, gee whiz, uh, Stridergot, Nick H, Jahan, Ray Reed, thank you for following, welcome. Several people followed there. Um, anyway, yeah, I was thinking about, um, I was thinking about even 
looking because what I found is is that these uh, when you're looking at the map that the that the systems that are lower in lower down on the map um, are um, <clears throat> Uh, the systems that are lower on the map are less populated by opposing Milita. And so I was actually going to investigate whether or not uh, I could get a high sec location that's not Galante as close to that. I was going to start looking at, at that stuff and maybe consider moving uh, my base of operations. Um, there's also there's a whole bunch of systems that fall right in between both battle zones and see the battle zones can change that we focus on and so we may focus uh, in um, you know right now we're focusing on Galante but it doesn't always have to be that way it might actually be Minmatar depending on how things are set up and so if I were to base in that kind of no man's land that's in between uh, both of them then uh, I could be at one location that could serve both sides because it won't, it won't be forever that we're always fighting in Galante space. Uh, there will be a point at some point in the future when we are fighting uh, Minmatar. So I uh, just don't know, you know, when, when that'll be. And it looks pretty bleak for Minmatar right now, so who knows? Could be a year. <laughs> who knows? Yeah, I might, um, you know, being in both locations, if I can find something neutral in between, I might move all of my faction warfare characters to the same station, uh, even though they're opposing sides. And for those of you who freak out knowing that I have characters on both sides, I don't play them at the same time. So my uh, Galante guys that I have, I have two of them. Uh, I have not uh, flown them in battle in a couple of months, so because I've been working on this other side. So, we were just you were you said you only took a few jumps to get from where you were yesterday. Yeah. Why is it sending me through twenty-seven jumps from? Why don't you choose right? shorter route instead of high sec? Okay, I need to do that. How do I do that? Click the A in the upper left hand corner next to route. Though the more jumps you have Welcome in between high sec and low sec, like if it takes you Welcome low sec to the and, dragons. and then back into high sec again and then back into low sec, each one of those points between high sec and low sec is very, very dangerous. Um, so there, there's a lot of camps that that happen uh, places like that. I'm in the medium O. Those of you who arrived in system. Well, that shortened the route drastically. Yeah. So it's just if you're willing to do that. You know, sometimes there's reasons to stay in high sec. Sometimes there's a reason to stay in low sec. It just depends what you need to do and where you're going, really. Yeah, and what you're flying. Yeah, there's reasons for Warp drive for all of them. So. Okay. Sorry about yesterday. I was hyped off on caffeine. <laughs> That's why I was a bit crazy. Oh, you mean that was abnormal? Uh, yes, it is actually. <laughs> um. Sounded like the same old you. Uh, no, I'm usually in control. I might have autism and uh, hyperactivity disorder, but I'm usually in control, even with caffeine. Mm. But yesterday we went, I cut loose a bit. It was a bit crazy. But yeah, usually I am crazy. <laughs> Hey, I have eyes on the gate. Gate is uh, currently clear. Um, 
My in-game channel name is Marky Dragon. All one word. And that's where if you want to join us for fleet, you can. Uh, and then I need to get you on uh, TeamSpeak as well. And uh, there's the TeamSpeak information in Twitch chat. Your firing rockets are always actually. Yeah. Fire. Okay, is that one of us coming in? That's landing here? Uh, no. It's Galante Federation at the gate. Because I was thinking if, if that's actual fire, then that armor tank is terrible. <laughs> I'm waiting to see if he activates the gate. He's just sitting there. Um. Federation Navy Comet, and he decided to leave. I'm coming in. Okay. Yeah, gate's clear at the moment. Kind of surprised you didn't come in, but uh, let's see here. So now we have a team of core axes. We can hit them with 14 at the same time, rockets or missiles. Well, hopefully we can get uh, a couple of good scores today. Pay for all the ships we're going to lose. Let's see, what am I at? 4.84 million. I'm going to go check out another Plex. Okay. Yeah, we can do multiple at the same time, and we'll, we'll actually make more if we uh, spread ourselves out and then jump to each other whenever we need help, or whenever yeah, we're going to complete. Yeah, that's kind of my philosophy. Yeah, yeah. As long as we stay in like frigates and destroyers, then uh, um, we can all get into the smalls and mediums and large.
So uh, filthy. This is a uh, uh, Corax. It's a missile boat. Um, I got it set up right now for long range. Uh, I can hit it about 40, 40 k away with 172 DPS. Um, it's another way you can go on these, which is rockets. And uh, I have a rocket fit that does about this tackle. Uh, does about 210 DPS and that can get higher So we got several uh, giveaways going on today. Uh, exclamation point uh, raffle. As long as you're a follower, that will put you in uh, for the drawing for the second decade edition, which is you know like $150 box, free shipping to the U.S. and to um, European Union member countries. Um, you can enter even if you're not in one of those, but uh, I'll offer you uh, a different package because of customs charges. And then uh, we've got uh, a ticket raffle going on right now. Exclamation point ticket space one will get you in on the Minmatar Bounty Hunter starter pack worth about 20 bucks. And then we've got an auction going on for Plex. And I don't know what the auction is up to right now. Um, but I think last I saw is about 1,500 gold. Hello, Muriel. Hey, so, uh, okay, we got, uh... Is this... Okay, so Shogun. Shogun hasn't requested talk rights, okay. Um, Shogun, I assume that you're wanting a fleet invite? And then um, I see Ibuku. Ibuku, are you here? Yeah? Okay. You haven't requested talk rights either. Okay. Well, I assume you're here to fleet. I'll send you a fleet invite. Yeah, my neck cut out again. So much fun when that happens. So if you guys want talk rights, just right click on yourself and select request talk rights. Destination system is posted in fleet. Vexer inbound. Um, yeah, he is a, he's a pirate. Welcome to the coming. Dragons. So I am heading out. Warp drive active. Welcome to the Dragons. Yodea, Baitfist, and Shooter McLeods, thank you for following. Welcome to the Dragons. Hello, Shogun. Hi there. Tox Killer, thanks for the follow. Okay. That guy was Rudolph. Rudolph the Pirate. <laughs> Those uh, ships, Ibuku, that you mentioned, 
Um, I don't know if they're, uh, I don't know what size ships those are, but it'd be nice if we stayed in destroyers and frigates. Heavy assault cruiser? Well, you're not going to be able to get into some of the sites that we're going to want to do. We're going to want to be able to do smalls and mediums and larges. Um, heavy assault cruiser won't, yeah, it won't get you in there. Isn't a heavy assault cruiser like a 200 million hull? I don't know. Uh, I should have known those alien maggots booby trapped this subscriber train. Welcome to the dragons. Well, Shabrat, thank you for following. Welcome. So, should I brought a nemesis, or can I can't uh, use it in low sec, right? Welcome to the dragons. Uh, I'm not sure that there's any ship restrictions in low sec. If there are, I don't know what they are. I think there is. Um, really? In low sec and high sec. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For a nemesis, you can't use bombs in low sec. Oh, you mean you're coming from Null? Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, okay, I don't know. <laughs> uh, Nemesis would not be effective in uh, in faction warfare, unfortunately. Uh, well, yeah, it could do damage against a larger ship, medium and large ships, but it's going to be kind of hard against a frigate. Bombs will not go off. This is uh, okay. primarily, you par there are primarily frigates in Faction Warfare. Yeah, it is a frigate, though. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, I don't know the answers on that. You can try it and see. But just yeah. prepare be prepared to lose anything, you know, because true, true. We, we, we die a lot out here. Warp drive. Like in Nosek too. <laughs> hey, the medium O, I'm back there again. Welcome to the Dragons. That guy that was here in the Vexer left. Actually, he left the system. So, uh, Marky, sorry. Yeah, go uh, ahead. How to to shorter the, the, the distance of the destination? Again? Yeah, you click the A next to the next to route, and then you okay. can uh, you can make your choices there. Just be careful if you're going oh, yeah. shorter in the high sec, low sec jumps. When you go high sec to low sec, those are the most dangerous. You really want to keep it down to just one of those. Mm -mm. Tasman Devil. Oh, okay, we got a hostile on the gate. He is going to a Federation. He's activating the gate. I'm warping out. What kind of ship is he in? He's a Navy Comet. Yeah, that Comet. Get close enough would tear me apart. Riddo, your sound card was broken, huh? I had sound issues this morning. Um, it was kind of weird. Everything sounded like it was in a tin can. I had to reset both my systems, and then that still didn't fix it, and so I resetted the, or I reseated the cables uh, connecting the broadcast machine and the game machine, and that seemed to do it. At least, at least there is no bubbles in in low sec though. Right. Hey, uh, Pete, were you uh, were you out at uh, one of these other sites here? Yeah, I'm at the small nearby, but uh, a member of our militia is in here, 
And I'm trying to figure out what guns he has on his ship before I ask him to leave, so I can tell what optimal range to be at before I oh. ask him to leave. Well, I'll but now pop. I've got, I've got two Federation Navy Comets coming in. Oh, oh really? Okay. Then I was just about to jump to you. Um, one is named MK7. The other one is named Spine Silver or Sliver. Okay. Those are most likely the opposing Milita that was just over at the medium. So they are gone from the medium. Am I jumping to Castor or Dragon whenever I'm trying to join you? You know, uh, don't say, don't say any names on the stream, please. Oh, sorry. Um, we're going to Jita. <laughs> yes. Um, so y you can jump to whoever you want, depending on what it is you're doing. So, um, uh, I am working in the medium O right now. Warp drive. And, um, so you can jump to that if you want. It is currently clear. There have been hostiles here, though. Uh, and then we're also in the small O. And that one, ha I don't know if there's the hostiles actually went in on that one or not. If you guys had to leave. He's not talking, so maybe he's fighting. <laughs> Sorry, are you talking to me? Uh, uh, Pete, yeah. Sorry, what'd you say? Nothing, it doesn't matter. Hey, I'm leaving again. This guy's coming in on me again. These Federation Navy Comets. The uh, MK7 is definitely Guante. Whoa, somebody landed at the gate at the same time he, he just went in. Uh, maybe you're gonna call me a Galente Traitor, but uh, I have 5.0 uh, uh, of reputation uh, sendings with the uh, Caldari faction. So should I join factional warfare with Caldari or...? Um, right, so if you join faction warfare, you should join Amar if you're okay. flying with us. I, I, I'm not exactly sure what you were saying, though. Uh, uh, what I'm saying is that d does it need uh, standings uh, still for uh, for for joining factional warfare? Uh, standings can be an issue, and standings are you do create a standings issue when you're in faction warfare. Okay. Uh, okay. And so there are some ways around that. Um, like we can give an invite straight into like Red Hogs, which is in faction warfare because the entire corp is, and so it'll it'll allow it doesn't care what standings there are. Um, but you kind of have to go through the process to join, you know, with the Hogs Collective as well. Um, but I have my own alliance though. Uh, it, it's uh, my my own alliance and my own corp, so. Yeah, you can't you can't be in faction warfare and be in any other corp. You have oh. to give up whatever you're in. Okay, okay. Um, but my corp can enlist, right? Yes, your corp can enlist. Yes. But then again, it's gonna be like all the corp standings with stuff with uh, the faction. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, uh, faction warfare typically you do it with an alt character. That one yeah. where you you know that you're messing up the standings and it's okay, um, so. Mm -hmm. hey, well, I'm, well, maybe we're, uh, I'm not gonna lose uh, a lot of standings because we're gonna be we're gonna be in low sec, right? We are in low sec, correct. So the standings uh, values are less than I say, and Concord won't won't interfere, right? No. Okay. Concord doesn't go below, below 0.5. Uh, Galante Federation on the medium gate. I'm jumping to it right now. Damn it. I'm in a Falcon. I'm going to have to leave immediately. I just jumped in. I don't know what a Falcon is. I'm going to have to look that up. I did a Blackbird Federation. Um, Falcon. It's a T2 Caldari T2. recon ship. 
Yeah, I wouldn't mess with that. Yeah. Yeah, definitely not. Yeah, I'm jumping back to safe. How's the small O looking, Pete? I'm at the safe where you just were. Uh, oh, okay. That guy convinced me to leave. Oh, he convinced you to leave? He had bigger guns? No. Uh, my overview isn't set up to see people that are in our militia. And he told me he was in there first. I didn't see him in space when I came in. But being as how my overview set up like that, I guess kind of gave him the benefit of the doubt and mm -hmm. left. Yeah, I always just look at the wrecks to see whether or not there's wrecks in there from somebody else. Maybe um, I should. I should that bring proves some it. Torpedoes. Oh, sorry. Oh, go ahead. Maybe I should. Uh, maybe I should bring some torpedoes in my Nemesis, right? Because if the bombs doesn't work, uh, then uh, maybe I should bring some torpedoes with it. Yeah, torpedoes are um, okay. So I have a torpedo ship as well, a Nemesis, and okay. um, it's it's hard to hit the smaller ships. If we're doing larges, it'll probably work pretty good. Um, but the smaller the ship, the harder it is to hit. Uh, and their True, blast yeah. radius is really big. And so, you know, if you're going up against a big ship, it, it'll do a lot of damage. But against small stuff, it's a lot less effective. Um, mm -hmm. And like I don't know how small you can get in. Like, like I don't know if you can get into a small with something like that. It's a frigate. It's a frigate, so yeah. Okay. Yeah, and if a... we do... If we get in on some larges, the torpedoes might work just fine. I mean, yeah. we, we don't get into mm -hmm. a lot of good fights out here. We usually just run. True. Um, yeah, it's just so... pointless to use it against frigates with torpedoes. Might as well poke them with a needle. Is there a good video on how to change all of the UI, White Chaos asks? I don't know. I've not seen one. But if somebody's watching and has a good video on how to change the UI, go ahead and post a link to it in Twitch chat. Give me one minute. I'll I'll find an extraordinarily good overview faction warfare video. Okay. Okay. So in the medium, that comet is sitting in there. Um. And is he the only one? No, he's got his other comet buddy. There's two comet guys in here. They're both the opposing faction. Um, we have enough of us that we could do the large. Let's see. No, let, yeah. I don't know. Uh, um, Dean, what kind of ship are you in? I'm in a Corex, ta uh, Corex uh, Weber. Okay. Rockets or missiles? Uh, lights, missiles. Okay. We've got the Corex crew mm -hmm. going on today. Nemesis over here. So I'm in a, excuse me, I'm in a Condor Weber. Oh. Okay. Um. I'm working yeah. towards having the Core X, but I'm I'm in the Condor right now. Okay. Well, uh, Mark, you can, can you post a fleet invite in cooperation? Uh. Well, can you X up whoever wants to be in? Don't. I'm just sitting here following Pete. Or Brian, or whatever his name is. Yeah, I'm having a hard time with this. You know, the you know I barked about not saying uh, character names. And, I, and I've been, one of you guys, I've been calling you by your character name all the time. And... Um, I know exactly why I'm doing that. I'm doing that because I, I have trouble making name association between character name and team speak name when they're different names. <laughs> so, um, it don't bother me. Yeah. Well, I guess it just bothers me with my character because I try and yeah. keep it hidden. Um, so, um, if I get blown up, I get blown up. So what? <laughs> yeah. That's true, yeah. This I mean, is I, a pretty uh, low-key all. Like, I don't care if your whole stream network knows who I am and what I do. Yeah, okay. Well, I never, we, we don't I need never to go blasting like, it out there either, though. It, we don't need true. to cause the grief. We had one day 
where um, each person in fleet had a billion bounty put on them. <laughs> um, and uh, then, then one of the guys didn't get the billion bounty on him, and he was offended. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Um, so so I'm, I took this character from the start, thinking of him as totally disposable, so that's why I'm thinking of him. So I gotta find uh, where to go here, and let's see, is that guy still in the medium? He is. I'm gonna go drop in on that small, I wonder how much time was left on it. Well, there was about five minutes left on it, and there was a guy from our militia in there. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna peek. And then we There's have, one. with the two core axes, we can actually take out, we can take on the large. Um, got more opposing milita in here now, three of them. Warp drive active. I think that guy is trying to capture the medium. Uh, T.S. Dean, uh, where's your home system? Are you set up a little closer? I've got uh, two other ships that are up closer, so I can, if I get potted and I can run to them faster than, than my getting blown up because uh, I'm setting the schools, the, the Calderon school. Uh, uh, hang on a second. I'm trying to remember the name of it. It's four jumps away from Jita. Okay. But yeah, uh, that's fine. But I I, I I got this ship and two others Medium's already open. set up. Okay. Medium yeah. All the com up. yep. All the comets just came in. We got three comets on the small. They're. Uh, I'm gonna. They're all I'm about gonna go to come sit in, in here. the medium. In a line out. Okay. Yep. So we got Clerker in a comet, Freakos in a comet, and Nook in a comet. Warp drive active. And uh, Tea House of Fun is dead. <laughs> I aligned <laughs> out. I aligned out and. Uh, and started going, it only has three minutes left on the small. <laughs> um, so yeah, I was, I was aligned to leave. Uh, and uh, well, uh, local is really picking up in here, especially since when I started here, there was nobody in here. Um, uh, anyway, yeah, he, uh, he got caught. I don't know what he was thinking because he did not align out and, and start burning out. Um, yeah, I don't think he's paying real close attention to anything. Yeah. So I was come... sitting in there with him, and he was just orbiting the structure. And we were getting comets popping on and off of my D-scan at 1 AU, and he never aligned anything. Rats would show up. He never even shot them. Huh. Interesting. He must be tabbed out reading how to do faction warfare. <laughs> I'm coming in on the medium. It's clear at the moment. Up, oh, Navy Comet at 2 AU. Okay, yep, MK7. He's one of the guys. So uh, he has two other guys with him. That's Nook in the MK7. So uh, they're, they're, uh, Preparing to come in, no doubt. Um, he's not—he's not activated the gate. He's probably waiting for his buddies. I'm gonna go ahead and align to safe. There's a Merlin. Okay, still only the comet on gate. 
Uh, Merlin, not with the same group. He landed right next to the other guy. They're both Galante, though. Another Merlin. Another comet. I think it's time to go. Yeah, they have not activated the gate yet. We can keep counting the counter down for a second here. Just be aligned and ready to go. Yep, they're hit it. Out, out, out. They're all coming in. Yeah, there's uh, five of them. Not all of them are... Um, well, actually, all of them were... Uh, Galante. So, yeah, that's going to be hard if uh, they come in on the on the large. Um, you know, I'm thinking, you know, uh, like, um, okay, so Shogun says he has a a uh, nemesis. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and um, and you know, I have a nemesis as well on uh, another account it might be interesting to be cloaked out at like a hundred out on mm -hmm. on like the large and when um when someone of pop up. when a someone of opposing faction comes in and there's just one of them or whatever and then we tell you guys all to warp in and we start firing at them right at the same time we may just obliterate them <laughs> true yeah yeah, yeah. I don't know. It might take a little bit of uh, coordination, though. Um, mm -hmm. And it's still very risky doing the large, especially with as many opposing milita we have in here. Um, gain rewards for flying in a Marius Crusade. Let's see, in this war zone. Buku, uh, you, I don't know how to answer that. Are you in faction warfare? Do you want to talk to us? I mean, would you like like talk rights here on TeamSpeak? Hello, Buku. Hello. Sorry. Um, so, um, I'm not sure I 100% I understand your question you were posing in there. Uh, basically, if if I join the Crusade, the 24th Crusade, the Yamari mm -hmm. faction, will mm -hmm. I be able to get um, loyalty points there? Yes. Okay. In, in fact, you're going to get a lot of loyalty points if you're flying with us. Um, so, we're uh, if we capture a large, it's about sixty-five thousand loyalty points split between whatever our group size is. Um, or no, wait, it's going to be even more because sixty-five thousand is a medium. Um, so it'll be eighty thousand or something like that. Um, oh shit! Uh, guys, we are almost tier five. We're at seventy nine point three percent. Yeah, they've been asking to upgrade forty five. Yeah. Uh, so given that, if we hit tier five, it is an enormous amount of money we get for everything. An enormous amount. Tier five for the team. Whoa. Right? Um. So we're at se we need to hit eighty percent. We're at seventy nine point three percent. So we're guaranteed tier four rates right now. We may hit tier five rates. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, uh, this happened a month and a half ago. Let's see it at tier five in a medium. You get 80 some thousand loyalty points if you, you know, do it yourself. And so 80,000 loyalty points, you can do about almost two of those an hour. And so uh, you can make, you know, 140 million an hour. No, it's more than that. You can make almost just a, like 280 million an hour in loyalty, worth of loyalty points. So really, really big money. Hey, Tier uh, five mean, means that uh, it, it is the complex or it is the, the fleet uh, number? Level. Uh, it it is the milita number. Ah, okay. okay. So of the region of the system. No, of the milita. Well, so the entire milita. Uh, when ah, you click oh. on when you click on when you're in faction warfare and you click on the faction warfare icon, it will tell you what the percentages are. Um, we're at 
tier four right now, about to hit tier five. If we do hit tier five, that is the highest money payouts you can possibly get. And darn it, I'm gonna be out of town tomorrow <laughs> because I, I would drop everything and just be trying to get the LP because it just pays mm. amazingly well. You can make a billion in a day, no problem. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. That actually works out perfect for me that you're going to be out of town because I die a lot less when you're not around. <laughs> well, it's when we're streaming. So when I'm not streaming, I, I, uh, um, I, I get a lot more. So it doesn't attract as many people then. Right. Warp drive active. I'm on my way into the medium. So with the makeup oh, of the sy system now, yeah, we we can we should be able to hold this medium, even if black comes in. We'll just obliterate black. I'm fighting a rat right now, but the timer looks like it's way down. Uh, the timer is way up. It's at almost 20 minutes. So they've come in and they, they've altered the timer by being in here. Um, they brought it back up. So, cause we did have this beat down lower, but when the opposing Milita comes in and he sat in there for at least five minutes. So, cause I know we had this down to 12 or 13. Yeah, when I came in, it was at 14. Then I went over to that other one and sat over there for five minutes. So you must've had it under 10 possible uh it looks like uh the we're ready to draw for the mimitar bounty hunter starter pack i'm gonna draw the winner now looks like uh, all entries are closed and uh trenchy it's trenchy has won it all right he's regular on the show so trenchy i'm gonna write you a message right now uh when we hit uh if we hit 200 viewers which we probably will today if we hit 200 viewers, I'll do another one of these. And, okay. Congratulations, Trenchy. Congratulations, Trenchy. Okay, what was the chances to win? He bought 10 tickets. So, and that's that's a raffle, so you don't have to, you only need to buy one. <laughs> one is all you need, so. One is all you need, love is all yeah. you need. Sorry. I'm coming, uh, just one one jump and I'm, I'm there. Okay, we're in the medium O. You need to recruit a mathematician into your corporation. Mathematician? Yeah, because I was doing some missile damage calculations the other night. It's like ridiculous. I can't figure it out. Oh, we need to recruit a mathematician, not a character named mathematician. Yeah, okay. Just right, Google yeah. it. A, a mathematician. I'm sure someone already has made the spreadsheet. It's insanely complex. Like, I don't know how you do it on the fly. You don't, uh, you just shoot. What again? What's that? Missile damage? T yeah. N -C -H. Ooh, we got a lot of extras here in local now. Uh, several of them look like they're willing to fight. So. Keep on the D-scan. Okay, Tenchi, uh, that is sent to you. Check your Twitch mail. Ah, the misses on this game. Yes, I'm there. Okay. Um, here, I'm going to write something in, in fleet chat.
Hey. There we go. Most are already set up this way, but uh, if not, check uh, fleet chat. Oh, those guys were just passing through. Okay, so most of those hostiles passed right on through. Okay, I'm cloaked. Okay. Now, did you get joined into Faction Warfare? Uh, no, but it's okay. Okay. What's your What's your uh, range on... Uh, uh, on Nemesis? Mm-hmm. Uh, let me check. I don't know uh, by memory. Uh, is our Nemesis the top pilot in fleet? Yeah. Uh, 78 kilometers. Okay. Pretty good. I know you can get those up to about, I think about 110. It says 2,000 uh, DPS though. 2,000 DPS? Yeah. Wow. I thought I was doing good at 400 and some odd DPS. Oh, 2,000. Yeah, but that's with torpedoes and those skills, all you can train, they don't apply to it. True, yeah. Hmm. Okay, I'm well, cool. Gonna I'm gonna stay close. I'm just gonna go uh, smoke a cigarette and I come back. Okay. Might all be dead when you come back, but okay. <laughs> uh, things change quickly around here. Okay, I wonder, uh, 79.3 still on, uh, tier 4. Yeah, if we hit tier 5, that'll be pretty amazing. Is there a skill that affects the range of your, uh, attacks? Missile um, movements. Not the range specifically, but there's several that affect the velocity which in turn affects the range. Isn't well, there also one that affects flight duration? Yes. And no. if you're talking about targeting, then yes, there's stuff that help you target further out too. That's what I'm having difficulty with because it won't let me target anything uh, past 14K. You only uh, have 14K target distance? <laughs> Wow. wow. Do you have a warp core stabilizer on it then? Oh, that may be it. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah, he does, I bet. Yeah, yeah he mentioned that earlier. Stabs reduce, um, make you fight much closer. And Good the off time. time will be increased. Ah, uh, here's the guy you want to talk to. Hello. Hey, Sirion. Hey. Hello. The only skill I know of is uh, long range targeting. It's a targeting skill, and that'll increase your targeting range. Then I need to work on that one. You also have well, modules that increase targeting range as well. Yeah, well, it's the stabs that are doing it to you. The yeah, stabs have stabs. a heavy penalty on, on targeting range. I wish I'd have known that. It says on the info team. Then I. Yeah, I don't think stabs are something that you would want to PvP with. I could be nope, wrong. Never. I'm not much of a PvP guy, but... Well, when you're doing defensive plexing, uh, and, and you're and you're just going to run all the time and not really fight, then stabs are good. Yes. But uh, other than that, when you're doing offensive, they're difficult to um, to, to use effectively. I'm just gonna stay here and check if if someone comes in. Okay. Or maybe I should work to you or. Uh, I don't know. What are you flying? Oh, we, we got it covered. Nemesis. Oh, the nemesis! I thought you were already here. I thought you were like here, cloaked or something. I'm cloaked. Yeah, well, I mean, so are you just looking to go out and step out for that smoke you talked about, or you already did that? <laughs> yeah, I, did, I already did that. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, yeah, well, I mean, if you're in the complex with us, and, and um, um, 
Yeah, sure. Uh, I'm gonna come. I'm gonna get activated. Welcome, game. Elder Dragon. So, you think you're worthy of being a Marquee Dragon subscriber? I can just stay Duke here isn't and so sure of that. Some people. Get in line with the other dragons and show me what you're made of. What are you waiting for? Get over there before I open a can of whoop ass. In extreme. Sorry, sorry to cut you guys off. Uh, Dakotas, thank you for uh, thank you for seven, man. Dakotas, everybody, uh, if you click on his link, uh, he he's a he's a professional streamer. Typically has over a thousand viewers watching him. Um, so killing them zombies. Thanks, Dakotas, man. Woo! -hoo. Thank you. And uh, so now uh, Dakotas gets a thousand scales for uh, for having uh, subbed his new sub. Uh, gold, 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 gold. gold. Yes, yeah. gold. Oh, and say, are we back to skills? <laughs> yeah, and then uh, and then uh, in celebration of a new sub, I'm giving everybody an additional ten gold that's online here right now. Yeah. So now you gold now you can go out and uh, try gold. and try and raid the dragon uh, and uh, if we do combos at two three four five I'll do you know 20 30 40 50 if we hit combos on subs okay so. okay and yes the beard <laughs> I, I think Dakota's had a beard life thing going on and then he uh, gave it up and <laughs> shaved Uh, Tin, if you want to try your range without the warp uh, core stabber, disable it. Oh, you can just disable it? You can. Yeah, but then you have on. to talk to uh, re-enable it. Mm. Oh, that's not 100% I think you can either. still we do it in space if you've got a capacitor. Okay, Navy Comet on scan. Um, I'm assuming the Nemesis is with us. That Comet yes, is at the gate. Uh, oh, shit. Coming too. Yeah, okay. Okay. So, I'm um, I'm recloaking. Yeah. Okay. He's about 20 off the gate. The comet is. I'm sure he's calling for his friends. Okay. So, we have uh, Condor that's just shown up. Um, as long as it's only those two, we can probably take it. But I have a feeling there's more coming. I have a fire tail. Yep. Yeah. We got. Okay. So, everybody aligned. Welcome ready to, to the dragons. Align to uh, go out because we got three coming in oh wait they're fighting each other they're all this oh no we okay so just a line welcome and hold. to the dragons align and hold don't jump out uh they've not activated the gate they are in fighting at the gate um the condor and federation navy comet are attacking the fire tail merlin extra Okay, yes, more Galante Federation arriving. Everybody be ready to warp out. Uh, um, do we have a safe spot somewhere? Uh, well, we do, but if you don't have it already set up, you can't warp to it. I was kind of hoping one of you would be sitting at. I'll go, um, uh, um, crap. It's okay, just align. If you don't have one, just align. Uh, anywhere and keep it aligned. Huh. Well, the they they killed some. They have not activated the gate yet. Fire tail all that's gone. all that's yeah, the fire tail is gone. All that's left is uh, Navy Federation. Can you guys see that broadcast in the? Okay, they're activating. Window? Everybody out! Everybody out! Everybody head out! Frats. Now, I'm a little confused about what just happened here, but the I'm condor... Sending a bomb, sending a bomb. Launching. Oh. Uh, okay, the other, the other guys are coming in. They sent only one in at the beginning, and now the other two are coming in. Jeez. The, bo the bomb doesn't work. The bomb of doesn't not. work. Cost not. Grandosa. Read the tooltip. Bombs only work in null sec. That's true. Oh, I just wanted didn't to know test that. it. 
That's why it's bombers are not really good in faction warfare. Two attacks are not good in faction warfare. Okay, I'm almost dead. You're dead? I thought we were all heading out. Uh, I knew that was going to be too much for us. Um. Hey. I'm dead. I'm dead. Yeah. It's all okay. Bomb I should. I should. No, I, I tested it. I should have. Uh, I should have uh, took some torpedoes though. Yeah, they don't. Torpedoes don't do much. That... Torpedoes I know, but... are useful against like battleship size and up. On True, anything yeah. smaller, don't stealth bombers get it's... a pretty good bonus, so they can actually hit smaller targets with them though. They can Welcome hit them, to the dragons. But barely no damage at all. If they can even hit them. If someone is speed boating with like an afterburner or something, he probably won't even hit it. Damage That's wise true. anyway. Uh, if they're running a micro warp dive, he might get a bit more DPS out of it, but still, it's mediocre at best. Um, stealth bombers like battleship targets and up. Battle cruisers mm -hmm. possibly if you have like an. Um, Target painter. Target painter, exactly. Maybe a cruiser if you have like two or three target painters on the targets. Maybe. Well, probably. Well, uh, is there anyone I can walk to join uh, fighting at? Uh, you're in system? Yep. But to join fighting, because we're all at safe. You can warp to me if you want, but we're at safe. Oh. I just saw in cooperation that uh, we got D5. So, um, we got, uh, I went over to the small to peek at the small, and uh, looks like there's multiple there. Sitting right on the gate. Got quite a number oh, in here. Oh, and uh, Iboku, are you going to be dead now? I might be. Huh. As long Actually, as he died an awesome explosion, it's. He so left, good. didn't he? Yeah, he did. How many are inside? Uh, there is two inside a Condor and a Merlin. Okay, the Merlin went in. Oh, no, they just landed on you. Uh, a Navy Comet just landed on you. We also warped in, warped in. Really? That's really weird. Oh, you're... Ah, sneaky. Oh, you got another one. Another comet just landed next to you. Yeah, it's welcome to. Are they all just... What is a sentinel? Oh, why are they Why are they freaking out and just running? A sentinel yeah. is quite strong, actually. Because all of them, now you, a, oh, a, now you have a whole shitload dropping on you. Yeah, uh, you have five that just landed there. That's Six. That's the best way to take out the Sentinel. Sentinel has quite strong tracking disruption. Yeah, I, I would be leaving around now. Those who are landing on me are on our uh, militia. Oh, they are. Well, shit, yep. let's all go to the small. Woohoo! Yeah. <laughs> let's all go to the small. Headed in. Bombs away. Yep, they're all the same side of the militia. Photo bomb? Marky, I suggest hmm. you uh, put the faction uh, that you're with on your uh, spy alt to like plus five or something, so you can actually see that they are friendlies. Oh, yeah, I have another way of seeing it. Okay. Um, yeah. But, yeah. Yeah, th this one is basically set up to kill frigates. And probably even a destroyer. Yeah, okay, we're all heading in. Missiles. Everybody head in. Heading in. Oh, yeah. We, we are going to own this small. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, there's a lot of people there. Are we calling targets? There's no kill like overkill. <laughs> um, I don't know that there's... that. 
Oh, okay, so there's a bunch of targets in here. Uh, they're all running. They're, they are warping they out. Ran. Yep, they all ran. I can understand why. Okay. We're going to get about a thousand IP for this. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know what we're going to get, but it'll be fun. Let's see. We're still at 79.3 on, uh, on the level, so... Ooh, uh, I gotcha. No, we're at 80.2. We hit tier 5. Oh, okay, we do have Stream Sniper. I've confirmed Stream Sniper um, in local talking to me. I didn't realize it. So, um, the Kaldari guys are all still sitting out there. Oh, wait, Soggy Bottom is one of us. Is he here? No, he's not here, but he's, he's one of us here. Yeah. yeah. He's been here so, for quite some time. Um, yeah, he's not in fleet. Um, I'll invite him into fleet. Okay. Somehow I don't think those four were scared of little old me. <laughs> Hopefully uh, the bigger fleet that was coming after them. <laughs> that might be what they were scared of though. <laughs> <laughs> Although even with, with you all flying the Sentinel, right? Yep. Yeah, Sentinel is quite uh, annoying to engage uh, in a gunship anyway. Yeah, I know. Uh, and I have everything said that if I actually get a lock on anyone, they won't run. They can't. Okay. I've got a question. There's this auto targeter that you can put in high slot. Don't useless. Don't just don't. Useless. Okay. That it's good is for when you have quite possibly that the worst module in the game. It has some some use, but generally it's useless. I mean, the only thing I can think of it being good for is passive uh, mission running or something like that. No, not even that. Just, uh, the only thing good about this is the extra two targets. Mm. That. Uh, yeah, but if you have decent targeting skills, extra two yeah. targets won't matter. But it helps when you get 12 instead of 10 or, or 8 or something. Hello, and if you've got a empty slot, of course, to yeah. use something. Hello, Soggy. Hello. Hey, but looks yeah. like we've got a few more on the fleet here. Uh, I'm going to be out of spots here. Um, who can uh, take a squad? Who can I promote to a squad leader? No uh, leadership skill here. Uh, well, just tell me who does have it. No, not who doesn't have it. I have all. Who, who is I? Soggy. Hey, Soggy. Okay. Uh, welcome, by the way. Okay. I'm, I'm. My ship is too squishy. Otherwise, I could sit up and uh, both. Uh, Local spike of forty-four. Oh boy, reinforcements are arriving. Oh joy, good. Okay, let's see here. Does that work? Hopefully we can delay them just for another two and a half minutes. God, I do not know what I'm doing with this fleet stuff. I just take practice, that's all. Yeah, I know. Um, I just can't remember how to form a second squad. Okay. I right click on the wing. On the wing, okay. Uh, heads up. You have to move yourself to wing and then you can form second squad. Marky, check your D-scan. Five, six ships okay. appeared. Okay. Uh, they're all Kaldari State. They're all friendly. 
Welcome to the dragons. So, they're huddled pretty close together near the gate. Anyway, they're all friendly. I don't expect that there'll be a problem if they come in here. This will be the first time I've actually completed a timer in Faction Warfare. Cool. Well, uh, don't uh, don't sell the bear yet. Still a minute yet remaining. <laughs> okay. It's going to be tier four. It's not going to be a huge payoff, but it will be a payoff. Well, I lost. Are you uh, sure? Get in here, guys. You, uh, Soggy and Shady. Get in here to collect. I'm Hurry. Right back. 30 seconds left. I'm on the cruiser. Okay. I was holding my warp to save and I released and it suddenly warped. Warp drive active. Oops. So, how do I see my LPs again? Uh, you're gonna you're gonna get a message when we collect them. See now, bottom right, double click that and just follow. Almost 10k for that one. Hello, Mike. Hey, hey. Uh, yeah, I'm checking the medium right now. Um, medium O is clear. Medium O is clear for landing. All right, Roger that. Yep, everybody to the medium O. Can drop in at 10 right on the gate. Warp drive active. Uh, welcome, Mike. Yeah, thanks a lot. Wow, even with all of us there, we still got 9,400 loyalty points each. That's amazing. That's quite a lot. Yeah, so I wonder what the total payout was on that. It must 60, have been, 70? yeah. It must have been. It must have been a tier five uh, payout, even though it says that. Um, oh yeah, we just hit eighty percent. We hit eighty percent just a minute ago, so we are in the money, guys. Nice. Cool. Today we are farming machines. <laughs> are we going in? Yep. Yep. Going in. Uh, hopefully the sentinel can get in here. Yeah, I'm following. Okay. And my disruptor is ready. Hey, uh, good. This one is uh, beat down to eight minutes. So, eight minutes to money. Uh, Sentinel, is a Sentinel is a frigate, by the way. Okay. Uh, I linked that. I actually linked my setup in fleet earlier. Oh, yeah. I'll take a look at that. Sentinel is a strategic frigate. Thingy. Wait, is Sentinel a Tech 1 or a Tech 2? That's a Tech 2. Yeah, Tech 2, yeah, exactly. E electronic attack. Yeah, that's the one I was looking for. Been a while. Newton has tra tracking disruption with drones. What does K mean beside gold? Uh, it means that you have entered into the, um, the raffle. Ah, uh, okay. And the raffle is going to be in today, or...? Yeah, yeah, at the end of the show today I'll draw, and uh, whoever whoever wins it will get the second Decade Edition Ooh, shipped to How them. did we enter that again? Oh. Uh, exclamation point raffle in uh, Twitch chat. Raffle? Really? I thought it was Enter yesterday, or the day before. Well, maybe it was. <laughs> Raffle it's doesn't doing anything. <laughs> hey, so. Any response message for Raffle? Uh, you don't. Uh, except okay. for when you do exclamation point gold, it'll have a K after your name. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay, so that's uh, Caracal out there is us. Oh, 
Oh, is it Soggies? Yup. Uh -huh. Oh, we got a lot of people in system here. Okay, well, thanks for the fleet, uh, guys. Uh, Marquis, thanks very much. Taking and, off uh, already? Well... <laughs> <laughs> He got blown it, up, didn't he? <laughs> well, it's Christmas and I have uh, some family uh, oh, yeah. going on. Yeah, no, family comes first. So, uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, see welcome. you again sometime soon. Thanks very much. Hey, Marky. Yep. Okay. So I, I suspect with as much fighting has gone on in this, uh, this outpost that we, um, um, we're not going to see any more rats. I don't know, we can count the rats. If there's seven dead, dead rats, then there's not going to be any more. I think one of two may be Mux. One of them is a uh, leftover from a... Uh, um, a nemesis, and I went and checked it out because it's got bombs on it. <laughs> Stream sniper might be too scared to actually follow us in here. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I wouldn't attempt it without another fleet. Uh, well, this is a medium. <laughs> um, if, if there wasn't a newting ship in here, I would probably be willing to take this on with my salad. Hmm. But there is a new ship. Yeah, I got a web and a tackler on my condor. Uh, when you say you got a tackler, what's the name of the mod? Initiated Warp Disruptor 1. Okay, save the points. Did you okay back to our conversation a while ago? Did you uh, you can disable your warp core and see what that does to your targeting range? You don't have to dock up to put it back online. You can do it in space, but you have to have 95% of your capacitor when you do it. Yep. Uh, posting my uh, Sentinel setup again. Uh, don't talk about it because then it's a surprise for the snipers. Right. Right. Yeah, I did. Uh, I did save a copy of that. Being as you're on a sentinel, it's quite. If if it's a good stream sniper, he will just come in a missile boat, and your sentinel will be useless. Uh, not entirely useless. Uh, okay. Well, on, yeah. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hostile Merlin. on the gate. Uh, it's just one. Galante. He's in a Merlin. If he comes in, he's toast. Uh, he's the scalp of the other group. Okay. And he left. I'd leave too, honestly. <laughs> if if yes. he de scanned this, it's like Merlin? Nah. Hey. Yeah, Merlin is the ECM one, right? Yeah. No, that's Griffin. Merlin. But but you are right, missile ships will pretty much ruin the Sentinel regardless of how you set it up. Yep. yep. Except if it's a vampire oriented or I mean nude oriented sentinel. Mm. Even then, missiles don't need um, cap, so... No, but shields do. Yeah, unless you're passive. Yeah, but there's only so much hardening you can get fully passive. Hmm. We've got a lot of opposing military in here. Ooh. I, I, I can't wait. I'll be straight up honest, this boat was put together to fight other people, not to fight NPCs. <laughs> yeah, well that's kind how, obvious. actually, in, in faction warfare, that's that's pretty much what I do too. I, I set up all of my stuff for really, you know, for PvP, whether it's surviving or killing in PvP, and, you know, as long as I can take out the rats, I'm okay. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then, um, gosh, I don't know. I'll go 
when we complete this, I'll take my uh, scout, my cloaky scout, over to the um, over to the large and and see what's going on over there. Um, we haven't seen these other guys. They're not all in the novice, I wouldn't think. I, I'm I'm guessing that they're probably all in the large. The opposing milita. Okay, I'm only seeing uh, medium and large here. I don't see any novice. Oh, there it is. I see a novice. Okay. Yeah, and uh, one one little tip uh, on your uh, probe scanner, the show anomalies checkbox. If you need to refresh this, and you can't wait for it to refresh on its own, check, uncheck and then check the show anomalies box, and it'll uh, instantly refresh it, give you the latest. That's also good for when you don't remember which one you're at, and it'll change the distances so that you can see which one you're at. Yeah, those guys gotta be somewhere, because I got them on the full uh, max range scan. Yeah, well, when we're about 10 seconds left, I'll uh, warp over there. I can remain cloaked unless I happen to land on one of them. But I'll warp in far enough out, that shouldn't be an issue. Uh, my Korax has 172 DPS. How much ISK can you make doing Faction Warfare today? Um, if we do well, we'll make a billion ISK each worth of LP, with it being Tier 5. Okay. Well, I think we pretty much got this now. 20 some seconds left. Sounds right. I'm gonna head on over and peek at the large. What is it you say? 1500 uh, is per uh, LP for this? Um, well, I, when I give my estimates, I do it at 2,000 because I'm willing to wait and okay. I'll convert it at that. Um, but when I'm converting it for somebody who's really dumb and how they convert it and stuff, I, I evaluate it at 800. Um, oh, wow. yeah, most, okay. pe most people can get 1,500. Not everybody has the patience for 2,000. Um, there is nobody at the large. Oh, well, well, well. Um, yeah, so... It's, it's kind of interesting. There is there is nobody here at the large. Um, if you guys want to do it, but we could get dropped on. We just have to, if we get dropped on, we have to fight effectively to where we all fight and lose our lives or or we're all warping away. <laughs> One of the two. <laughs> Can't have we, half and we half. We need someone to call that, make that call. Yeah. Well, I mean, I can make the call. I'm not the best in the world at it, though. So... Um, you know, just saying. It's, it's just important that someone makes the call, otherwise it's going to be confused. Yeah, oh, I see you guys dropping in there already. Okay, so I guess we'll go. Head on over. Oh, and let's see what we got paid on this. Loyalty points. So 11,000 11, each, and we had, what, six of us or seven of us? So... Uh, Shogun, if you, um, no, Shogun, I have a, I have a different prize for you if that is the case. So I have another one that I'll swap out to you. If you happen to win, I'll message you. I got a freaking life. Now this is where the uh, torpedoes would have come in handy. This is about the only situation where 
where they would. Yeah, and that only still battle cruisers. Who was tanking? Uh, I should have known those alien maggots booby trapped this subscriber train. Did you take any damage at all? Mm, very little. Yeah. Couldn't track you, I think. Shields are at 90%. Um. Wait, I need to step away for two minutes. So. Um, I'll stay in here. And uh, but but I'm gonna just know that I'm gonna be AFK for a minute. So uh, who's gonna who's gonna call while I'm away? Nobody. Okay, awesome. <laughs> uh, Shady, you're not in fleet. Yeah, I know my socket just closed. Everybody out. Oh, everybody out. Everybody out. Merlin. Okay, everybody out. Everybody out. Warp to safe. Warp drive active. He left. He he went out. Yeah. Well, everybody out. We'll reassess. Let's let's just take a two minute break. Uh, I've got my scout running here. I'll put it up on the stream. Uh, the the scout so you can see it a little bit better, and um, it'll light up if anybody else comes in. We have one of. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, but I had to I had to step away for just two minutes. I'll be right back, everybody. <laughs> 